guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing an anti-Valentine's Day look. I am so excited to be filming this video. I was totally inspired by Nikki Tutorials who did an anti-Valentine's Day look last year and I will link that look down in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video and if you want to see how to get this look then just keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video today. Little disclaimer, there is some construction going out outside my apartment right now, so if you hear any loud noises, that's what's going on. I can't prevent it, we're just gonna have to move on, okay? All right. All right, so let's start today by priming the face. I'm going in with the Smashbox Primerizer. This is a primer and a moisturizer in one. Be like the cool Instagram girls. And just massaging that into the skin. This primer makes my foundation look so flawless and blurred and smooth. And I can skip my moisturizer in the morning, which is really, really nice. Okay, and while that settles in, I'm gonna go in with the Porefessional Matte Rescue. This is a primer by Benefit. And unlike the original Porefessional, this is a gel consistency which I love because I'm not a fan of silicone primers. This gives me the matte finish that I want without being silicone-y and cakey. I'm just putting that in the areas where my pores are the largest and where I tend to get oily first. And the forehead. Okay, so we're gonna let our face primer sink into the skin and we're gonna prime our eyes. I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Fair. Buffing that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Okay, and once that is set down, I am taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. You always want to set down your eye primer because it's just going to help blend the shadows together. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. It's not going to be sticky. It's going to be nice and smooth for the shadows you're going to put on top. Next, we are going to go in with the Jeffree Star Skin Frost. This is in the shade Ice Cold, as you can see. Mine is very well loved. And my sister is awake, everybody. Taking that on a flat concealer brush, and I'm gonna take some MAC Fix Plus to make it extra blinding because that is what today's look is all about. And I'm gonna take that and place that on my brow bone. It's going out of focus because it's so blinding. Look at that. Okay, the first shadows we're gonna go in with are some from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is called Silk Cream. This is my favorite transition color in the entire world. Me too. My sister's as well. She's in the background. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe E23 and begin buffing that into the crease. Okay, once that shade is laid down, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is called Butter on the same Morphe brush, and I'm just gonna take that right where we placed that silk cream color to start adding that warmth in little by little. Next, we are going in with the Morphe 3502. I'm gonna take this color right here. This is called Flux, and we're going to begin to deepen the crease with that. Taking that on a Morphe blending brush, this was in the Eyes to Slay Holiday eye brush set thing. And I'm gonna begin to put that deeper into the crease build up that intensity right in the socket of the eye. Okay, next to start adding some warmth, we're gonna go in with the shade Heat. You can add as little or as much as you want in this first step. Going back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take this shade right here. This is called Hunts. And I'm gonna put that right on top of that heat shade because this is a little bit more red than that heat color. See the difference? That's what you want. Oh no. Next, I'm going in with the shade Ablaze. It's a bright matte orange. And I'm gonna put that a little higher in the crease to add some brightness because even though this is an anti-Valentine's Day look, we still wanna keep, I at least I still wanted to keep in with the traditional colors of Valentine's Day, but with a little bit of a twist. Next, I'm going in with this shade right here. This is called Fire. It's a super bright matte red. And I'm gonna put that in the crease as well, where we put that orange shade ablaze. We just wanna add a little bit of brightness and as much drama as possible. 
So we're gonna start to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. We're gonna go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Black Bean. And I'm going to take that and begin putting that on the outer corner of the eye as a base for the black shadow that we're going to be putting on top. And I like to blend these out with my fingers um, just because I feel like it's easier and then I don't get my brush all gunky. So I like to just feather those out with my fingers. Okay, so once that is laid down, I'm gonna go in with, where'd my brush go? There it is. I'm gonna go in with that same crease brush we've been using for all those reds, and I'm just gonna go over that line where the black starts and start to blend that out and a little bit around it as well. Personally, this is how I like to lay down black shadows with a black base underneath. I just feel like the black shadow will be the blackest it can be if you have a base underneath it because some black shadows are not that pigmented and tend to be really patchy. So that's why I love to put down like a cream black base before I put the black shadow on. I'm gonna take a small angled pencil brush. This also came in the Morphe Holiday Eye Brush Set. Just any black shadow will do. And I'm going to begin placing that on top of that base. Boom! Yes, Lord! Now I know you're a little scared right now, but that's okay. That's why we take the time to blend things out. Okay? Alright. I'm actually going to take a stiffer blending brush, taking that shade Heat, going right over that black to help blend it out. It's okay if you get it in the crease, that's kind of what we're going for. Okay, I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but trust me, it's going to get there. Just trust me, we will get there. Next, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Ruby on a flat synthetic brush. Oh, but it just messed up the lighting. Dang it! I wanted the cute fairy lights, but that didn't happen. So again, I'm taking that shade Ruby, and I sprayed it with some Fix Plus, and we're going to place that all over the lid. Okay, so once you have that red laid down, I'm gonna go into the shade Sissy in the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a rose gold. And I'm gonna take that shade and place that right where the red and the black meet, dragging that slightly into the center. Taking that angled pencil brush again and going right over where that rose gold and the black meet so they blend together. <laughs> the construction guy's singing, I love it. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that shade Ruby and go over where the rose gold and the red meet so it's not a super harsh line. Okay, so once you're done placing down that rose gold, this is what you should have so far. I told you we'd get there, I told you. Okay, now I'm gonna go do my foundation, concealer, and powder, and brows off camera, and I will be right back. Okay, so I did my brows and my base off camera. I just got my brows redone. Shout out to my brow girl. Hey Shelby, how you doing? And I added a wing as well. You don't have to add a wing, but I just thought a wing would add a extraness to this look, which I am all for. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette again, and I'm gonna take the shade Hunts, and I'm just gonna begin with that. And I'm taking that on my pencil brush. This is a Morphe R41, and I'm gonna begin placing that on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take that same pencil brush and go into the Morphe 3502 and taking the shade Ablaze one more time. I just want a hint of orange in this lower lash line. Okay, next for bronzer, I'm gonna go into the Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced collaboration, The Power of Makeup. And I'm gonna be taking my very well-loved Chocolate Soleil bronzer and putting that all over my face on an angled fluffy brush like this from Morphe and just beginning to bronze the face. Again, we are ignoring the construction that is going on outside right now. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'm living, living for these eyes right now. I'm also very impressed with my wing liner. I usually suck at wing liner, like absolutely am the worst. And it didn't turn out all that bad today. This one's a little higher than this one, but you can't really tell. I'll put on lashes, you can't tell, it's okay. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques blending whatever this is called, Miracle Complexion Sponge. 
and I'm just gonna clean up this bronzer. So we have a sharper line and it looks like we contoured, but we didn't because I don't even contour anymore. I remember when contouring was like the thing to do and now it's all about highlighting. I just remember when like everybody was trying to get that Kim Kardashian contour. That cream contour though. Yeah, I don't have time for cream contour, okay? I can barely like powder contour, okay? I'm just gonna let that sit for just a second and I'm gonna take my powder brush and just blend that away. Next for blush, we are going in with the Holiday 2017 Tarte Blush Palette. Look at this packaging. Everything. I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is called Genuine. Now for the most important part of our anti-Valentine's Day tutorial, our blinding highlight to blind anybody who dared to break our heart in the past. I'm going to take that on a Morphe 501 and place that where you would highlight. This highlight is so blinding. Are you, like, are you, what, the, how? I'm going overboard with the highlight today, folks. I don't care. You don't have to, but I am. It's just like, it's beautiful. Always gotta hit the tip of the nose. And of course, mm, just kidding. Also gotta have the blending in our corner, so do not be afraid to blind there as well. Cupid's bow. Okay, we are highlighted to perfection. I'm gonna go put on some lashes and I will be right back. For lips, I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Unicorn Blood. I thought it was totally fitting to do a dark red lip on an anti-Valentine's Day look. So, here we go. And all his liquid lipsticks smell like root beer. So that's always a plus. Mm, I love that color. You can never go wrong with this color ever. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. I can't do this because people are drilling when I am talking. That's cute. That's probably why I'm single. All right, guys, so that is my anti-Valentine's Day inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Bye.